We've learned how to build seventh chords on each note of a major scale. For example, we have C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, B half diminished, C major 7, and so on. What we're going to do is take the 2 7 chord and create some variations on it, create some alterations on that particular chord. So let's switch to the overhead camera. So when we build a seventh chord on every note of a major scale, we find that the chord that is built on the second note is a minor seventh chord. We can call this the two seven chord. A minor seventh chord consisting of the root, a minor third above the root, a perfect fifth above the root, and then a minor seventh above the root. Now, we can have some fun with this chord by altering it. The first alteration we're going to do, and this is very common in both popular and classical music, consists of raising the third by half a step. This changes the minor third to a major third, and it converts the whole chord from a minor seventh to a dominant seventh chord. And so if you're playing a chord progression, say for example in the key of C, this would be the 2 7, and now it's the 2 dominant 7th, and that drives you to the 5 in the key of C, which then in turn drives you back to the 1. In the key of E flat, for example, it would look like this. Or in the key of G. Another way that we can alter the 2 chord, the 2 7 chord, is by lowering the 5th or flatting the 5th. This creates a half-diminished 7th chord. So we went from this to this. Also in the key of E flat, this would be the 2-7 which is a minor 7th chord, we can alter it by lowering the 5th, and that naturally leads us to this 5-7 chord, or just the plain 5 chord, and then that leads us back to E flat. In the key of G, it would look like this, and then that leads you to the D7 chord, back to G. So we've raised the third, we've flatted the fifth. Now, what if we raise the third and flat the fifth at the same time? It's a combination of these two previous alterations. And so this D minor seven now becomes D seven flat five. So this is basically D seven. There's the five and we flat the five. We've also raised the third, and that still leads us to a G7 chord, which can lead us back to C. We can do the same thing in E flat major. There's our 2 7 chord, which is F minor 7. We raise the third and flat the fifth. We end up with this chord, which leads us to B flat or B flat seven, and then back to E flat in the key of G. Now we have one more alteration that we can do. We can flat both the root and the fifth. This creates, it's a very strong downward motion. 
There's the root, there's the fifth. If we flatten them both, we end up with this. And this leads us directly to C major seven. So you're going two seven, which is a minor seventh chord. Now we have the flat two seven, which is actually another major seventh chord. And then every note moves down a half step to C major seven. Using our other two example keys, we have... Now we could call that F flat major seven, or we can call it E major seven, either way. And that leads us directly to E flat major seven. And here it is in the key of G. You can also do these alterations of the two chord, the two seven chord, in every major key. So I'll leave that to you to figure it out. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing along. I look forward to speaking to you in the next one.